All right, everybody. I am going to be going over a drama that is honestly pretty ridiculous, and it really didn't gain much traction to begin with. It was always kind of a meme, but I, I do think it's worth going over because, one, you guys really want me to, and two, Vosh is my friend, and I do find this whole thing, you know, um, obviously it's someone essentially trying to slander a friend of mine, but also uh, it is also something involving a friend of mine that is quite ridiculous, so I, I feel kind of motivated to talk about it. Hypers in chat, if you have seen an anime before, I have. I have seen, so far, all the way through, three animes in my life. I have seen Death Note, I have seen Cyberpunk Edge Runners, and I have seen... I was sure there was another one. I've seen the first couple episodes of Chainsaw Man, and the first couple episodes of One Punch Man. I also watched a little bit of Pokemon as a kid, but that's pretty much it. That That is my... I also watched a couple episodes of uh, Fairy Tale when I was younger, like when I was 14. Didn't really like it much, so I didn't watch more than a few episodes. So uh, sorry if there's anyone in chat uh, molding and coping and seething about that. If you watch anime, even if you don't watch anime, because frankly, even before I watched my very first anime for real, like sat down and was like, I'm going to watch an actual anime for the first time, I kind of knew what reputation it had. Like, go anywhere on the internet, and you will find anime culture just kind of around, and you will start to feel uh, yourself learning about anime through, like, just sort of a cultural absorbing of, of the topic, right? And very quickly, one of the most common sentiments, one of the stereotypes you'll very quickly figure out about anime as a medium is that regardless of how good it is, regardless of how artistically creative or compelling it is, whatever, no matter how much you like it, pretty much every anime has some sus shit in it, at least by our standards here in the West, particularly when it comes to the depiction of women, and especially the depiction of young women. Uh, there's, there's a lot of sussy-wussy shit out there. Which means that if you're like a normal person who watches anime, pretty much any anime on anywhere near a regular basis, you're going to end up seeing some sussy shit that you're just gonna have to... You know grit your teeth through. It's us in Japan, too. Well, I'm not 100% sure about, like, the the differences there, but I imagine it would be. Regardless, though, we just kind of sit back and, 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 like, have to grit our teeth, you know? Even some of the most popular animes, there's some stuff that's just kind of like, damn, this is, like, one of the most well-loved and popular animes out there, and, and this one's even kind of sussy in certain parts, right? Like, um... Hell, Vosh was ranting the other day about this, uh, I have not seen it. It's called Evangelion. I, from the way that I hear, hear it talked about, my understanding is there was a movie and a show, and apparently both of them are, like, amazing. Apparently they're both phenomenal as far as storytelling, character development, animation, etc. go, but apparently they're also quite sussy in the way they depict uh, some of the characters in it. Um, and that was, of course, what Vosh was complaining about. So, if you've watched our boy Vosh, you know, you'll know that uh, he complains a lot about exactly this. I mean, if you've watched, like, a Vosh gaming stream, or, like, any Vosh stream where he is allowed to stun lock and talk about media, I feel like once a month he rants about how sus anime is. Which kind of makes sense, considering the fact that he watches a lot of anime, so he'd probably be somewhat non-stop frustrated about that fact, sort of like how when I play a lot of Minecraft, I'm non-stop frustrated by its flaws and feel like ranting about it all the time, you know? Which is why all of this drama, knowing all of this, knowing that is the, the history that we're talking about here, we're gonna get into uh, the drama at hand. Someone who I guess I used to consider a friend, uh, a smaller content creator who just kind of came along into my community and seemed pretty reasonable, seemed pretty chill, made some pretty good videos dunking on uh, and exposing some pretty bad people uh, in the political space, uh, named Old Man Laundre, made a video 
called Irish Laddie's Disgusting Anime List. Irish Laddie watches Lolly say it ain't so, Vosh, is, uh, is what the thumbnail says there. As much as I would like to be able to be, like, charitable to Old Man Laundry in this, you'll notice that he just straight up calls Vosh Irish Laddie in the title, which is just kind of like... It's literally the same thing as when people try to call me Pig Puncher. It's like a very clear sort of jab. It's a very, like, shallow jab. It's not very strong or anything, but it's an attempt. It's certainly an attempt. Pretty dishonest, if I'm being honest. Like, like, like it really... If I'm being honest, yeah. Like, it feels pretty dishonest and kind of like, uh, you know, well-poisoning-y right off the bat. Like, this is supposed to bring in people... Who already hate the guy anyway anyway basically and we'll I, I guess we can take a look at this video it's not it's not super long we'll go ahead and uh we'll give it a watch Let, let's give it let's give it a quick look we'll, we'll give it a very quick once over hello everyone it's old man laundry i need to share a link with you that i stumbled on recently here it is on your screen right now i'm sharing it with you because as a father of young children two of them i found the contents of that link to be very unsettling because on that list are more than 200 different anime titles, many of which contain very young children who are put in very adult situations. Situ I guess he's just getting right to his thesis right off the bat, so I guess I'll drop the counter thesis right off the bat. It kind of feels like the way he's presenting this uh, anime list is um, almost like he's unearthing kind of a secret, right? Like if Vosh was watching, categor like cataloging and enjoying lollycon like lolly porn or whatever obviously said list would be private he would never show it publicly not on stream not talk about it uh hell he wouldn't even you know name the account after his well-known name right logically these are things that he would not have done in the way you know you'd assume if if this is how it was being framed in reality uh vosh has actually shown this anime list on stream while ranting about how some of the anime in the list, all of them being anime that are pretty damn popular and well-recommended, contain sus shit in them. This wasn't some hidden private thing. This anime list is public. He's literally ranted about a bunch of the stuff in them. So essentially what Old Man Laundry is doing here is saying, Vosh watched popular animes? that have creepy shit in them. Also, let's forget about the fact that he's literally called out how creepy the content in these are. Very young children, hmm, priming wording makes it sound like he's talking about 10 and under. Listen, it doesn't really matter. What actually matters is, like, the presentation of the characters, right? Like, if you look at a character in anime and you see them and you're like, that's a 10-year-old, that's a 12-year-old, that's a child. That If you see a character in anime and you see them and you're just like, that is a child, like, without any knowing any other context, sexualizing that character is definitely sus-zoned, like, without even a shadow of a doubt. I don't care what the story is or the canon or the lore or, like, oh, no, actually, she's a fully adult woman, but she just kind of dresses that way because she's super attached to her, like, like youth and everything, so she just kind of acts a lot like a child and dresses like a child, but in reality, she's just, like, super, like, uh, um, like growth-stunted and isn't really, like, uh, she, she's unable to grow up. It's like, okay, fuck off. This is all just copium and, 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 and like, trying to find loopholes. And these are all things that Vosh has criticized and called out in the anime on this list while showing this list publicly. By the way, the link literally is myanimelist.net slash anime list slash Irish Laddie. The, the name that everybody knows he used to go... Do, do, you, do you actually think you exposed something here? Like something scathing or bad? You you legit you legitimately call him a lollycon in the title. Lollycons are pedophiles who watch anime child porn to get off on it, not somebody who watches anime and some of the anime has such shit in it because anime. That's that's not what a lollycon is. Please tr trust me. With how many of these motherfuckers I've dealt with, and you guys should know if you've watched me, he is not one. Situations that some terminally online folks apparently find acceptable, but I find disgusting. 
Now, you are totally free to uh, dissect the contents of that list on your own and come to your own conclusions and do what you wish after you come to those conclusions. Apparently, um, a bunch of people reached out in private to Old Man Landre when they found out he was trying to put this video together, trying to warn him, like, please don't make this video. You're going to make yourself look like such an idiot, dude. Like, th this might be the biggest boomer move you've ever made. So Old Man Landre, as the name denotes, is a massive boomer, and he's very clearly, like, not... There's a very clear, like, generational misunderstanding or gap here where he just sees anime and is like, oh, this is child porn. And it's like, if you watch this, then you're a fucking, like, and, and that's just where it is, right? Basically the same opinion my mom has of anime, ironically enough. And, and that's basically the logic that Old Man Laundry is using here to justify calling Vosh a pedo. Uh, okay. All right. But I need to get my thoughts out there. So here they are. First, the username. I recognize a few, obviously, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures is probably one of the most well-known animes out there, but as the scrolls, I've noticed actually, like, I recognize a few of these just because they're so popular. I've heard them shouted out by, like, random media YouTubers or, like, Let's Players or streamers who watch anime saying, oh yeah, I watch yada yada yada. Okay, that's a weird, like, combo of words, but okay. And, and I kind of recognize a few of these. At the end of that URL is Irish Laddie. Irish Laddie, as many of you may know, is the longtime username that was uh, used by the popular leftist content creator Vosh before Vosh Holy became shit. the name that he would go by. Now is it Oh my god. The fool. The absolute fool forgot to hide his supposed Lollicon anime list behind a link that didn't literally contain his name in it. <laughs> Dude, th th this is the most ridiculous attempt. I have ever seen. I, I can't tell if this is just like a dishonest attempt to try to get more views and subs because it's like, all right, channel's not blowing up as fast as I want it to. I don't feel like putting in the grind and, and uploading every single day to please the algorithm. So I guess I'll just upload an anti vosh video um, or just really any anti-debate bro video and bring those people into my audience. I can't tell if it's that or legitimately he just doesn't get it. Like, like he just doesn't get that like, if you are a person who watches anime, you're you're gonna you're gonna end up watching some anime with sus shit in it. Maybe DGG. No, uh, I don't think or DGG. Uh, no, old man Landre does not really like DGG. He doesn't hate every DGGer, but he's had quite a bit of drama with Destiny, and uh, his fans do not like Mr. Girl or Mr. Girl do not like old man Landre. So uh, I I I have a pretty I have a feeling this isn't supposed to appeal to DGGers necessarily. I think it's meant to appeal to the people who think Vosh is like a racist, sexist, homophobic, pedophile, whatever. Is it technically possible that this Irish laddie isn't the same Irish laddie as Vosh? Sure, but due to the super niche nature... Not... Okay. Obviously this is Vosh's anime list because he's shown it on stream. This isn't like a secret anime list that's being unearthed or, unearthed or anything. Um, but... Old Man Landre does know that people will, like, steal your name online if you're a public figure with a certain amount of, like, popularity and do bad shit, right? Like, I feel like Old Man Landre might see... So I've multiple times had, like, fake Twitter accounts made to pretend to be me and start tweeting slurs so that they can be, like, screenshot and it can be like, Zan, explain this, you know? And, and it, like, they replace the uh, L in my name with, like, a capital I or something um, and figure out a way to make it work like i feel like old man laundry would fall for that like some fake twitter account that made an at that's like replacing a letter to make it look like it's my username saying some slur or just some horrible thing he'd fall for it and show a screenshot of that and be like and then xander hall said this and deleted the tweet clearly because i can't find it <laughs> xander hall i recently had to ban someone in our comments pretending to be you yeah yeah there, that's the thing on YouTube especially, there's this uh, epidemic of in every content creator's, like, comment section, you'll get these scam bot accounts that are trying to scam your viewers that'll pretend to be you. It'll be like Xanderhal-Crypto, Xanderhal-Gift. Anything that's that's claiming to be me like that is not me, okay? Like, my username on YouTube is Xanderhal. That is it. Just Xanderhal. And if you need to check, click on the account and see if it leads to my channel. If it doesn't, then it's not me. And I'm also not just going to, like, say, whoa, you won a prize, whoa, unless you won, like, the build contest on the server, um, which is a whole 
Like, you'd know because you entered that contest. ...of this site and the relatively unique nature of the name Irish Laddie, I honestly find that hypothesis to be very unlikely. That said, before you dig into the link I just shared with you, and which I will also link below, there are some things that we need to get straight, which are very important. First, we need to understand what the site is. If, like me, before I stumbled on it, you didn't know what it was. This site basically allows its users to learn about anime, watch anime, and create their own playlists. There's nothing necessarily bad with that. Then we need to talk about lolly. What is it, and is it always bad? Now, even though I'm not into anime, I had heard this term lolly thrown around a lot by people online. And the suggestion is often that it's just automatically bad. But when I asked a few anime lovers to help me understand uh, these different terms and what I was looking at with- Oh no, careful. All right, hold on. I, 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 have to, I have to give a hopefully more good explanation of this than uh, old man Landre. He's not gonna defend Lolly. Let's hope not. The term Lolly refers 99.9% .9 of the time refers to like underage girls in anime, like little girls in anime. You will sometimes get people, uh, usually like lollicons, usually like pedophiles, who are uh, who will call non underage, like non child characters who are like short and petite, like Rebecca from uh, Cyberpunk, a lolly to try to sort of muddy the definition a little bit. But pretty much every time you hear the term lolly used by an anime fan, especially by lollicons to describe a character, we're talking about a character that is going to be explicitly a child in the way that they're presented. Zan, he made a post trying to get Destiny involved. Oh, okay, he is act okay, so he is trying to he is trying to get uh DGGers to uh to join him, like like to start subbing to him and liking him. Uh he dis he disabled dislikes on the video, cuck behavior. Well yeah, because this is absolutely awful. This is like an absolutely desperate attempt at a at at a get. Here, what's this post say? Is this his Reddit post? Oh my god, his username is codename Humble. Bro, Go on, dude. A message from Old Man Landre. DGG, I have said a lot of shit about you and your dear leader, Destiny. Most of you all hate me, and TBH, I don't blame you. Uh, laughing emoji. And not that you need it, but you're fully permitted to keep hating me for the shit talking I've done in the past. But with all that being said, even though I've never been a member of VGG, I've aligned with that side for several months now, and it's consistent, consistently mystified me why DGG has hated VGG so much, and certain prominent VGG figures so much. Welp, as a man who tries to live a life of integrity, I think it's, import, it's important in moments like this to say, I get it now. Holy shit. These people are bananas. Don't get me wrong, I still got my issues with DGG and Destiny, but holy balls, if you hadn't, haven't gotten your fill of entertainment at my expense over the last 24 hours, go over my Twitter, at OldManLandre. It's a sight to behold. TLDR, I made a video about how disgusting I think Lolly is, and I think I was disappointed to find Vosh's my anime list was full of content I found incredibly gross. And holy hell, the entire VGG cinematic universe lost their goddamn minds. The, the reason why the v VGG cinematic universe, by, by the way, I, I, is he referring to me? Like, he, he does know that, like, I unironically shouted him out and, like, got him the current level of, like, like influx of viewers that he currently has. Like, like, he knows that he's just alienating himself from every bridge that he's built so far, destroying those bridges in the hopes that some other guy who doesn't like him might be willing to build a bridge with him. This is possibly the worst decision anyone has ever- I- You started his career? I started this man's career and he ended it within like seven months. Jesus Christ. God damn. Let me- let me I guess give you guys a uh, a summary of uh, of what happened written by a person who posted a link to Old Man Landre's video on Vasha's subreddit here. Not a, fr a fresh video about Vosh being a lollicon just came out. I'm sure it's not another tawdry attempt at a smear for clout. And then uh, they summarize it here. So what Old Man Laundry, with a uh, spelled laundry, has done here is some groundbreaking investigative journalism. Using a highly sophisticated OSINT research tool called Sherlock, he was able to uncover Vosh's secret anime account on MyAnimeList.net, and on that found several instances of him either having watched or intended to watch anime featuring sexualization of minors, which we all know is just a hop, skip, and a jump away from being an outright lollicon and pedophile. That 
is his argument anyway. So some of us turn to another highly sophisticated OSINT research tool called Google to aid our failing memories and found several videos of Vosh from several months ago, not only publicly showing said MyAnimeList.net account live on stream, but also publicly calling out several of the works mentioned in this video for containing, you guessed it, sexualization of minors, including Dragon Maid 1, 2? I guess these are two clips of him calling out Dragon Maid, and No Game, No Life. Now, I'm not a weeb like the rest of you degenerates, same. And just scrolling through a MyAnimeList.net makes me wish the US had nuked Japan harder, but from seeing people's reaction on Twitter, Vosh's, big Vosh's biggest crime here was giving Akira an 8 out of 10. Oh, Edit added an, a Fully Cooly rant, uh, where, he, where he rants about Fully Cooly being sus as well. Um, I guess we can watch those clips if we want to of him complaining about these animes being sussy wussy. I've platformed old man Landre basically like smearing him as a lollicon. Might as well show him before that video like basically disproving these claims just accidentally. Not good. Like Dragon Maid, dude. I got problems with Dragon Maid. It's a cute show. There's a whole fucking character dynamic in Dragon Maid that's literally like what if big titty mommy sexually harasses six-year-old boy? And that's it. That's the whole character dynamic. That's the whole goddamn fucking thing. Seriously. And I'm only talking about this. That's not to mention the other shit, like the sexism. God, there's so much sexism. And it's the creepiest shit, too, you know? It's the creepiest fucking sexism. Like Listen, guys. He th Isn't this literally him showing... This is literally him on the my anime list account too. Like this isn't this isn't even him. Like this is literally him on the thing that old man Landre is acting like he's exposing as some secret. Like all this school uniform, like isekai high school battle anime, fifteen year old girl bullshit. The main consumers of anime, by the way, are not teenagers. It's mostly dudes my age. So this isn't an attempt to appeal to people in their own age group. This, is, this isn't like Steven Universe or whatever, where like people are watching Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network and like they have to appeal to all ages for that, okay? All, this is not all ages anime. It's made mostly for people my age. The fixation on young girls in high school is definitely kind of fucking yep. sus, you know? I don't even know how much of this I can scroll through because I have no idea how much of this sh like lolly shit is going to be on my screen that people will screen cap and then later post on Twitter saying, Haha, look, Vosh likes lolly shit. You know, I feel like that's got to be possibly the best, the best thing to end it on. You know, that that has to be. When was this? When is this clip from? Because the Old Man Laundry video is just a few days old. This is from a year ago. This, this clip is, was uploaded a year ago and has 96,000 views. And this is just one of the four clips included in the post. Vosh had a Zan moment. Vosh did have a me moment. Yeah, that's true. He just predicted something uh, with, with pretty pretty good accuracy. Um, I would not have predicted it would have been Old Man Laundry, though, who would decide, like, he didn't do exactly what he predicted there, but he essentially... He essentially did that without doing that, you know? Pretty ridiculous stuff, huh? This is why I am so adamant that I cleanse my audience of people that seem like ticking time bombs. Some, t some of you might notice that I I'll like ban somebody who's kind of acting a little weird or like a little just kind of odd, maybe a little entitled in the chat, um, but like isn't explicitly breaking like the rules super hard. Um, the reason why I do that, and I'm sure that Vosh does this too, and I have no doubt that other content creators in the space also have a habit of this, um, but, you know, you are my audience, so you might have noticed this. A big reason why I do this is because time and time again I've noticed that you will form parasocial relate. well, you won't form them, but, like, well, as an I, won't form them, but, like, my audience, certain people in my audience will form a very strong parasocial relationship with me, and while this isn't everybody, some people will then form a very strong sense of entitlement around me, right? Where I will, for example, this is very common, someone will just be watching my chat and chilling, and I will say something like 0.1% like kinda off, 
about a very nebulous topic that isn't really important to anything that someone in the chat who happens to be like this uh, knows more about or thinks they know more about and then loses their shit over. You know, like they'll they'll literally just start like yelling, Zan, what the fuck? Zan, no, Zan, what the fuck? And just start losing their mind over some like nebulous shit, like like really losing it and demanding that I stop the stream, screech everything to a halt, give them my full attention, listen to their argument, exp like, and then completely accept I'm wrong. You were correct. I'm sorry. I dared to voice my opinion on this topic. You know, like like people will, yeah, sort of like the. The, the fell off with this one stuff is just sort of like a copy kind of like uh, trying to sound cool and, and sort of suppressed or, or not suppressed, sort of a laid back version of that. But basically it's like, oh, you've done something that I minorly disagree with or that kind of upsets me, even if it's just a misinterpretation, I'm going to have a, like a breakdown over it, right? And it can literally just be, like, evidence or, like, clues of that popping up in certain people in my audience. And I'll call them out if if they if they do some weird sh sus shit that kind of makes me feel like they might not be good for the community. Because that shit happens. If you leave those people in your community to fester, if something like, say, the shoe on head drama happens, you might have a bunch of people in your community who are primed to agree with the person slandering you falsely as a pedo and now you're not just your community versus someone else's community you're your own community and your community versus another uh community right you have to make sure that your own uh community isn't like filled with anti-fans and people who are like literally teetering on the edge of fucking hating you and dedicating themselves to wanting to take you down and that's clearly what was going on in the case of old man laundry it's why as a content creator it's so sad and depressing that it's so hard to form friendships um and connections with other content creators because like anybody could ruin your career and you could ruin their career and like dude um i remember there, there was like a clip of uh vosh talking about what like being a content creator and sexting another content creator is like it's like it's sexting and hypotheticals is is possibly the best way to put it um not that i've sexted any other content creators don't get your uh, don't get your imaginations going it's like ah uh, yeah some would say that i like big titties and, and they say oh yeah i mean some some other people may also say that i like giant dicks and and that's basically because like you know, you could screenshot someone's conversation and all of a sudden it's like you're 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 just you, you could just fuck someone over. You could just kind of like either make them look cringe or just kind of twist it a certain way. And that's why, like, even if it's like forming a relationship, like a romantic relationship with another content creator could be worrying for some people, e even just friendships. Right. Because at a certain level of friendship with somebody, you get comfortable enough to start like joking around about stuff that could like. Let's be honest, everybody here jokes about stuff in private. They wouldn't exactly want, like, everybody in the world to hear without context or, like, knowledge of, of like, who you are and what you actually, like, believe or, like, stand for, right? Like, like obviously. Um, I don't think this is a very revolutionary take. Oh, yeah, clip me, guys. Yeah. Yeah, listen, guys, as soon as I end stream, I'm just, I'm like a machine gun with those slurs. You guys don't even know. You have any idea how many passes it's gonna take up to cat? It's gonna take to catch up with what I've already said. Nah. Um, in all seriousness, I I think it's pretty common that like you're you're willing to at least get more personal, right? Not even like making edgy jokes or anything, but getting more personal with someone you're you're closer with as a friend, like maybe revealing embarrassing sides of your social life or your um family life or your home life, like just things like that, right? Um, maybe just like talking about like your, your childhood, just stuff that like, you know, if some other content creator decides one day, oh, I don't want to be friends with you anymore because it's more profitable for me to burn the bridge and do something else. It, there's always like this worry that they're just going to kind of like, just try to embarrass you with like random nothing burgers from like that, that, that were talked about in your friendship. Like there are people and content creators that petty out there, which is why it's just so sad to see someone do this because it's just a full demonstration of why it's so hard as a content creator to befriend other content creators because you really just can't fucking trust them like a lot of the time.
Like it takes a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot to be able to trust them to any degree. Uh, Cause it really is your career and your reputation on the line with some of these things. And uh, yeah. Zan, I must confess, Landre said he was a Vosh fan seven months ago on Reddit. It's 100% a grift. He still watches Vosh. He just wants the DGG money. I count Landre as one of the people you're talking about. No, no, no. I, I completely agree. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I said. Old man Landre was a Vosh fan seven months ago, but literally just got set off by like the tiniest thing he interpreted as bad or is motivated by a grift or both. It could just be both. You know, it could be a tie in. Very sad to see. I guess the thesis of this is that um, Vosh good sometimes. Uh, and with all that said, if you enjoyed this segment, please consider leaving a like, comment down below, subscribe and ring the bell icon so YouTube tells you when I go live or upload a new video. It really does help out my channel. It really does help my videos and segments as well. More than I think you guys might assume. And of course, if you want to see more from me online, just generally, you can follow my social medias, which are all linked down below in the description of the stream, including my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, and uh, my fan Discord. It's all, it's all pretty dope. It's all pretty awesome. And of course, if you want to go the extra mile, you've got some money, extra money you don't need for anything else, then you can always consider donating to me, Xander Hall, on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live. You can donate, subscribe, or gift a sub. But you can also support me through YouTube, Twitch, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, and Patreon. With all that said, thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.